Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. So I am starting this week's vlog on Friday afternoon. I am just getting ready to walk, or walk. I'm getting ready to drive out of the school parking lot. This week was conference week, so it was quite a long week for me. We had early release every day at 1.45, and then we had conferences up until about four o'clock every day. I had up until about six o'clock yesterday, so I'm exhausted. But I wanted to do this week's vlog a little bit differently than I'm normally doing my vlogs. So I wanted to let you guys in on like my life outside of the classroom and how I sort of manage everything outside of the classroom. And so I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna show you guys all of the things that help me stay kind of like together if we can even call it that throughout the week. Um, as far as like meal planning goes, what I do for meal planning and meal prepping, dealing with having a toddler at home, um, managing being a wife at home when I'm not at school. So I'm gonna take you guys with me this weekend, kinda show you all of the things that we're up to at home, and just let you in on the, on the Valdez household. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you're interested, just keep on watching. So right now it's about 2.53. I'm leaving early because all my conferences for the week are done, and I have an oil change scheduled for 3.45. The dealership that I'm going to is probably like 15 minutes away, so I'm gonna get there early. Hopefully they can squeeze me in so I don't have to wait that long and then today we're gonna go pick out Cash's Halloween costume we're gonna be Toy Story so Cash is gonna be Buzz Lightyear I'm gonna be Jesse and Scott is gonna be Woody since I already have the costumes since I do like the princess party thing you guys already know but I have Woody and Jesse as part of my party company costume so we're just gonna wear those and then Cash is gonna be Buzz Lightyear so we're gonna venture out today um, get Cash's Halloween outfit and then we might do a few things for our playroom so we have an extra bedroom that doesn't really serve a purpose you guys have probably seen it before it's like my office slash like storage room and I can show it to you guys when I get home but we're gonna redo that into Cash's playroom um, we're not planning on having any other children for quite some time like a few years so we don't really need the room for anything else Too? Oh my god! Have a good weekend. <laughs> Thank you. Oh wait, I see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. Oh, wait. Yes, I see you tomorrow. Nine o'clock. I don't know where I'm go where I'm going. Just head to my house. Okay. We're gonna go to the cotton fields right like before you turn into my house. Perfect. So I'll text you when we're on our way. Okay, perfect. Bye. So yeah, so the room isn't really serving a purpose right now and we would like it to serve a purpose and we just have so many toys and so many things that Cash is up to that we just wanna keep it all in one room so that he can just play in there and have fun and there's like a TV and we'll put a beanbag chair and all this stuff and it'll just be a place for us to take him to play and of course he can play in the living room, like bring his toys out, but just a place to put everything every night so that our house doesn't look like a preschool. So anyway, I'm gonna head to my oil change and then I will catch up with you guys when I'm with the boys. Okay friends, so I'm home, it is now five o'clock. I went and picked Cash up from school after my oil change. And so now we're gonna go and find Cash's Halloween costume. Yay! Saturday. So last night after we went and got Cash's Halloween costume, we went to dinner at Serrano's, which is a Mexican restaurant, and then we came home, we just hung out. Cash actually fell asleep in the car, so we quickly put him down, and then we hung out and watched Friends the rest of the night. Um, this morning, though, I am running to Fry's, which is a grocery store, to pick up some tickets for our festival at Schnepp Farm, which is our little farm that we live nearby. And then before I go there, I'm going to take some family pictures for Mandy, because 
because they're coming out to go to the farm for the day. We're going to go to the farm for the day, and there's some really beautiful cotton fields behind uh, where we live, so I'm going to take some pictures of them. So I'm going to quickly go to Fry's. Um, Scott is getting cash up. It's about 9, almost 9 o'clock, um, and we're just getting ready for the day, and then I'm going to share with you guys the farm experience. It's going to be so much fun. Um, it's like the perfect fall activity, and I'm sure all of you have plans to go to like fall festivals or like pumpkin patches or things like that. So um, this will be really fun. So it is currently Sunday afternoon, it's about 2 o'clock, and I am preparing my breakfast for the week. So I'll show you what I've got going on. All right, so I am preparing some breakfast sandwiches. So what I have here are just some whole grain, 100 calorie um, English muffins, and I'm just going to toast them in the oven. I also have some homemade egg bites about to go in as well. Um, I just found this thing on Amazon and I looked up a Pinterest recipe. So I'm going to try and make my own egg bites. And then I made some bacon and I'm going to, and I'm also making some not really poached eggs because they're not poaching, but just some steamed eggs. I just want them to be... Like, I want the yolks to be hard, so I'm just steaming them in there. Um, and then, so then once the eggs are done, I will assemble the sandwiches, and then I just wrap them in tin foil, and then I take them to my classroom, and I keep them in the fridge. 
So I'm also gonna show you guys what I have planned for lunches and then also dinners. So I know that last week I mentioned my teamy skinny tea um, to help me with my bloating and weight loss. So another thing I'm, I've been using is skinny tabs and um, they're just like a, it's like another form of like a detox, but this one I like a little bit more. Um, they're made with um, all natural ingredients, so they help you lose weight, flush toxins, burn fat, boost energy, and reduce bloating. They're also GMO free, sugar free, vegan, dairy free, low carb, keto friendly, gluten free, and soy free. So they come in boxes like this and you get 30 tabs. So you can do uh, one tab a day or you can do two tabs a day. I do two tabs a day. And you just put it in water and I got the little tumbler um, because it measures out the right amount of water. So you just put it in your water and then you drink it twice a day. They do have some natural caffeine in them. I think it's like 35 milligrams or something. Um, and um, yeah, they've also been really helping with my bloat. I actually prefer the skinny tabs and the weight drops to the teamy skinny tea. I am still drinking that on occasion, but this is kind of my go-to. So then I also do the gummies, and these are supposed to fight cravings, boost metabolism, and burn belly fat. Um, I purchased these all by myself, and then I actually reached out to the company and they sent me a couple more um, tabs and gummies to share with you guys. So I don't even think I have a promotion code for the skinny tabs. Um, they're just for me to review. So I'll let you guys know a little bit more about those later on. But I just threw my egg bites in the oven with my English muffins. I'm gonna have to take my English muffins out in a couple minutes because I don't want them to overcook. Um, what else is going on? Oh, I went to Walmart today and I had to buy a few things. I had to buy some more pre-workout, and then I got us some elderberry syrup, one for me, one for cash, uh, because sick season is coming. I'm getting my flu shot this year, or sorry, this week. I think they're doing it at the school and it's free, so I'm gonna do that. And then Cash will get his flu shot next month when he goes in for his two-year checkup. So that's what's going on right now. Cash is asleep. And I wanted to show you guys something super, super cute. So Cash's birthday is in a month and we're starting to plan his birthday party. So I wanna show you guys this little birthday invitation. I'm gonna hide the address, but I made these on PicMonkey. Isn't that cute? So we're sending them out to all our friends. Um, they're just like, I made them on PicMonkey and then I printed them at Walgreens. So in addition to prepping my meals for the week, not my meals, my breakfast for the week, I'll show you guys what I do for, or what I'm going to start doing for lunches and dinners. So my husband and I started HelloFresh, and this is not an ad at all. I didn't, I'm not sponsored by HelloFresh at all, nor do I get any perks for sharing this with you. I just personally do HelloFresh. Um, so we order three meals a week, the nights that Scott is home. And it's really nice because he cooks the meals and he really likes them. So um, that's been working out for us. And it pretty much equals the same amount of money we would be spending on the ingredients to make dinners. So we're not really losing any money there. I think it's like 50 bucks a week and that's like $20 a meal. And that's way cheaper than we would spend if we went out to dinner. So we have those for dinners. Let's see what this week is gonna be. Crispy Parmesan chicken. And we have a pineapple poblano beef taco. And there should be another one in here. Maybe we already cooked it. I'm not sure. Or maybe all the ingredients are out of the bag. I think that's what it is. <laughs> so as far as dinners go, when Scott is not home, I have a few things. So I bought some pre-barbecue shredded chicken at Sprouts. And I bought a barbecue ranch salad, like one of the bag salads. I actually got the Southwest chopped salad, so I'll have that for dinner one night. And then I also got a salmon meal. I'll probably have this one tonight. This is from Sprouts as well. This was $7.69. This is cheaper than going out for like Taco Bell or Chipotle or something, and it's way healthier for me. So that's another meal. I'll probably have that tonight. I'll probably have the salad tomorrow night. And then I also bought myself some sushi. Um, this was eight bucks 
And then this one was a little more pricey. I actually probably should eat these tonight because it's sushi and they go bad faster. So I have those for dinner. Um, I have dinner by myself Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night. So there's three dinners right there. And I also have dinner by myself Saturday night. But yesterday was not even much to talk about. And then also for lunches, I have to share this with you guys because it's really awesome. So my husband found this company and it's based out of Arizona. I have to find, oh, we don't have the, the bins anymore. Um, I'm gonna have to find the name of the company, but basically they're like a meal prep company and they pre-measure all of your food. So like your macros and all those things and they pre-measure everything and then they send you the meals and the meals are like $7.99, eight bucks each. And then my husband gets a first responder discount. So he was actually ordering those for himself to take to work. So he takes two meals with him to work every day. And I was like, well shoot, you should just order me five meals. Cause if they're eight bucks each, that's like $40 a, a week for lunches. That's way cheaper than buying like a bunch of ingredients and making my own lunches. And then it's already done. I just throw it in the microwave. So we ordered a few of those. They'll actually arrive tomorrow morning. Monday morning, so I probably will take one of those sushis for lunch tomorrow, and then the rest of the week I'll have um, my meals already made. So I got like a chicken and rice and broccoli, and like I don't mind eating healthy like that. I just don't have the time to prep the meals. Like this is taking me an, almost an hour and a half, almost two hours to prep just breakfast. So if I was prepping my lunches, it would be a little harder. So I will go look for the company's name. I know it's Arizona based but you could probably find something like that anywhere. Um, and like I said, $8 a meal, that's like going to Chipotle every day. So yeah, that's how we're balancing food in the Valdez household. Now, of course we have to go shopping for all of Cash's foods and like fruit and veggies and things like that, but it balances out to about the same amount of money every week that we're spending and we don't have to spend the time prepping our meals. So that's kind of fun. Thank you. 